Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mac here again from Cryptstar Staking, and today I want to walk you through a really, really awesome uh, roadmap that is coming out. That has just come out for a game that I hold dear to my heart, and that is called Pixel Potus. Pixel Potus is an NFT trading card DAP on Tezos, where you can go ahead and you can mint uh, NFTs for free on a daily basis. And you can collect those cards, you can upgrade them to new cards, and a roadmap has just been released on how you can utilize those cards in the future to go ahead and make uh, the sweet, sweet Tezzy returns. So without more to do, let's go ahead and head over to this roadmap and take a look, and I'll go ahead and explain the fine details and how things are going to work with this new game, uh, with this new release. So here's the Pixel Potus roadmap, and it looks like there's now going to be a new token called the Pixel Token along with Pixel Dow. Ooh, interesting. So, there is only going to be 1 million pixel tokens uh, minted, and 10,000 will be go ahead and be airdropped to the top 500 pixel players based on a snapshot of the rarity score on X date. So, depending on how many pixel potuses you own, uh, you're going to get a certain amount of airdrop uh, comparatively to that. So, if you're owning like a unique potus or whatever, it's not good to sell it right now. M make sure to hold on to the potuses. And just keep them, and then you're going to get a random airdrop in the future of this Pixel token, okay? Now, uh, another, another portion, 11%, is reserved for initial marketing and in-game bonuses, okay? 100% uh, uh, team tokens, which will be released over time. And 10% uh, reserved to seed P2PE rewards. And 150000 as a private sale, X% percent discount to list price with a 6-month lockup. And a three-month slow release. Now, this is going to be to private sale investors, so only people who are probably in the unique pixel um, pixel chat, unique pixel owner pixel chat, can probably have access to this. Or if you know the project owners, uh, fifty percent will be sold in the Rocket IDO. So, or sorry, five percent will be sold in the Rocket IDO. So it's not a whole lot with the Rocket IDO, but there will be some. Uh, and a certain percent for all these people, okay? I'm not going to go through all these, these details. Uh, this link to this roadmap will actually be in the description to this YouTube video. So be please check it out for any of the uh, other details that you find that you find you want to go over more in depth. Uh, please check that out. Uh, Pixel DAO will be earned. You'll be basically used to vote on the DAO for the, the Pixel POTUS itself to change the rules and things like that. And the utility will grow with time, okay? So there's only 100,000 Pixel DAO. That is one-tenth of the uh, pixel, uh, what do you call it, token or whatever, pixel uh, market cap. Okay, so you can stake your pixel in XTZ to earn pixel DAO. You can stick 10 POTUSes and receive a rarity score based on portion. Mm, that, I guess this isn't quite decided upon yet, okay. Uh, with the pixel shop, you'll be able to buy t-shirts and cups and mugs and stuff like that. I'm going to definitely get one for my unique POTUS. So, unique pixel owners will be able to stake their unique po pixel POTUSes for a 50-30% of profit from the swag. So, uh, let's hope they make a lot of sales. <laughs> uh, let me think. Pixel artifacts. Pixel artifacts look interesting. Um, They'll be uh, basically commissioned from community artists, so community artists can draw pictures of different POTUSes and maybe get uh, some some exposure from the uh, special NFT thing they're having. Um, POTUS debates collectible card game. This is a new part of the Pixel POTUS game. This is like a 2.0, Pixel POTUS 2.0. They're going to have a turn-based strategy game where you can have like HP and mana, and then basically it looks like you're going to have uh, POTUSes fighting against POTUSes, and it's going to be like a, a, a verbal debate in English. Um, I have talked to uh, the, the developer behind this game, and he told me that it's not going to be so difficult for like non-English speakers to go ahead and play this game. It's going to be very simplified English, and it's going to be uh, mostly based on skill. However, he's going to make sure that it's dumbed down to a level that anybody uh, who doesn't speak English uh, or English isn't their, their first language. He's going to make sure it's easy enough so that you can also enjoy this, uh, this game. Okay, so the PV PvP game mode, win to earn, okay? So the, the, choi the point of this game is to, to choose a champion and one legendary or unique POTUSes can be used to uh, fight in this game. And or you can choose to borrow a POTUS and then you can share a portion of your winnings with that POTUS owner. 
So if you don't have, if you, have, if you own a unique POTUS, you can actually put your POTUS into a pool, and then somebody can borrow from that pool to use your POTUS in the battle, and then you can earn uh, like a revenue from that unique POTUS. Pretty interesting. Okay, so it looks like you have to bring your own deck and your POTUS champion. So you can borrow the champion from the pool, but it looks like you might need to own your own uh, actual like debate cards here. And you, in order to borrow a, a, a pixel uh, or whatever, a POTUS, you need to actually pay a certain amount of pixel to borrow the POTUS. And if you lose, you get to have an extra random debate card to use in your next one. If you win, you get 75% uh, of the pixel in return. So 175% uh, of pixel in return, okay? So this is all going to be done with smart contracts. Uh, I don't believe there's any layer 2 solution behind this. This is all going to be on the blockchain itself. So um, I'm really excited to see where this is going to head. Uh, there's going to be a campaign mode game, uh, players versus environment. Okay, so you, can, you don't have to play against the player each time, but I'm guessing there's going to be some sort, of, uh, bo yeah, there's some sort of boss system. So it's going to be difficult to beat these bosses. Um, there's going to be random treasure rooms that will grant you more pixel and artifacts and stuff. So it's going to be kind of like a, a long-term game to play, as well as uh, player versus player games. So, But it's all meant to be done on a browser. You don't need like a high-end computer to play. And uh, this game is very focused on like a long-term like playability. This doesn't want to be like a pump and dump. The main goal was for players to slowly mint their pixels or sorry, their POTUSes, <laughs> and then uh, build up their decks, and then slowly, uh, as they build up their decks and, and grow their knowledge of the game and how the, how the game works, they can win battles, and then they can earn Pixel as a reward for winning those battles. So, the another really excited thing, a uh, thing I'm really excited about, is the sneak peek at our next new project. So, they're, they're planning a new project, a new collectible NFT game, inspired by Pixel POTUS, using some of the same mechanics, but with a much wider appealing theme. Not pixelated, not POTUSes. So I've heard rumors about a special artist that is going to be working on this new game, who's a really artist. I really respect him. However, sadly, I signed an NDA and I can't say anything about this. However, I'm very excited uh, about the new art and about their new theme for this. So I just want to tell you guys to stay tuned and to pay attention to Pixel POTUS and jump in their Discord. And I left an invite link below. Jump in there and make sure you stay on top of it because the next game that they have coming out is going to be extremely appealing. They're going to have really cool art. And it's not going to be like based on uh, American presidents. It's going to be based on like a more worldwide theme where anybody from around the world can go ahead and enjoy uh, the Pixel POTUS. I hope you guys can get it on Pixel POTUS. Remember, you can mint one for free every day. So be sure to check it out. And if you like this video and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit subscribe and the notifications bell below. And I will see you guys next time. Bro, we need to pop it. Everybody, go to Twitter and hashtag the things. Pump it. You know, pump it real good. We need a good pump. Everybody deserves a nice Tezos pump.